All right now, Lat, Matt, and Pat, my young chickens, you are all fully grown now. And so, Mother Chicken wants you to go off and make something of yourselves. Just remember, your great, lovely creator. And off you go. And with that, the three brothers set off to make something of themselves in this world. Well, the three brothers set off, and soon they found a rooster in their path. cock a doodle do How are you three young chickens doing? Oh, we're doing okay. Well, uh, who are you? I'm Mr. Rooster, and I'm here to sell you a large bag of hay so you can build a house. Fast, quick, and easy, and you'll be ready to enjoy a comfortable leisure house in no time. Probably only take you about a half an hour. Oh, I, I, I don't know, guys. That doesn't sound very good. We're supposed to build our house on a good foundation. Remember that story we've read before? I don't know, sir. Well, well I think I, I'll take it. The oldest chicken, whose name was Lat, he went over to pay the rooster, here's your money, and he bought the bag of straw. Oh, oh I, I'm all right. I, I wish you well, and the others set off. Good choice, lad, good choice. Well, Lat finished his house in no time, just as the rooster said. Yippee, I got my house all ready, and it looks spectacular. I think I'll use the back door. Oh, this is cozy, just like the rooster said, very cozy. Well, it wasn't long before a fox came by. <laughs> Hello in there. Why don't you let me in? I'm a kind little fox. Oh, no, go away. Huh, I can blow that house. All right, no problem. And a one, and a two, and a three. <gasps> and that fox blew the house away. Oh! And he ran after the chicken. Lat was never seen again. Well, there was Matt and Pat. They were still okay. And they came upon that Mr. Rooster again. Cock-a-doodle-doo! How are you, you young chickens? Oh, I don't think we should talk to him. We couldn't find our brother. He's not to be trusted. Just cover your feather ears. Cover, cover, cover. Now don't jump to conclusions. I have a bag that I'm selling of sticks. You can build a really strong house with that. And it won't take long at all. And then you'll be in your house with luxury and comfort in no time. Might even take just an hour to build. Oh, that, that sounds really, really quick. I, I think I'll buy that, sir. Here's your money. And I love the idea of being fast. Oh, I don't think that's a good idea. But Pat went off. I wish you well and went away. Well, Matt was excited, yippee, because he built his house very quickly. Well, that rooster was right. Oh boy, does my house look sturdy. It most certainly does. Sturdy, sturdy, sturdy. Well, I'll just go in and make myself comfortable. Yippee, this is so cozy, just like the rooster said. I'm very pleased with this house. And it wasn't long before the sneaky, sly fox came by. Oh, hello, hello! Why don't you let me in? I can smell a little chicken in there. Uh, no way. All right, not a problem. I'll just huff and puff and blow your house down. All right, here I go. A one, a two, a three. <gasps> and the house blew away. Ah! And Matt ran off, and the fox ran after him, and poor Matt was never seen again. The only chicken that was left from the three brothers was Pat. 
Oh boy, my brothers are gone. They built their house on a poor foundation. Oh boy, a fox probably got them. What am I to do? I can't find anything to build a strong house. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, Pat was wandering around, and suddenly a young chicken came by with a wheelbarrow full of bricks. Oh, hello there. Oh, hi. Would you like to have some bricks? Oh, bricks are very strong. How much do you want for them? Oh, you can just have them. They're extras, and I don't need them any more. Oh no! I'd be happy to pay for them. Bricks are expensive. Oh no! Just show me where you would like me to wheel these over. I would be happy to deliver them wherever you want. I have a better idea. Why don't I push and you keep me company? Oh, okay. And so, Pat and the new chicken, whose name was Violet, went off to find a good place to build a house. Pat got his house all finished. It took a while, but it was fun to get to know Violet. They became very close. Oh, Pat, your house looks wonderful. Well, thank you for your bricks. You are so very kind. Okay. Well, now that you're done, I'll be leaving, and I won't be bothering you. Oh,、uh, I'll be sad not to see you again. But goodbye, Pat. Oh, wait.、Uh, I have something to ask you. Oh, what's that? Will you marry me? Oh, oh, of course I will. And so Pat and Violet got married and lived in their new house together. Oh, it's so cozy in here. Yes, it is. I'm so glad that I had those bricks. Well, it wasn't long before sneaky old fox came by. Oh, I can smell some chickens. Go away. Go away. Okay, you guys can be sneaky if you want, but all you have to do is huff and puff and blow your house down. Here I go. A one, a two, a three. Oh, <gasps> oh, <gasps> huh? It usually works on three. I'll try it again. A one, a two, a three. Oh, <gasps> <gasps> suddenly Pat threw a brick. And it hit the fox in the head. Ow! 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 I'm leaving! I'm leaving! And Pat and Violet never ever saw that sneaky fox ever again. And they always read from the good book every night. I love this book. It really helps us get wisdom, doesn't it? You bet. The end. Hello there, it's me, Ellie. Oh boy, did we have a fun story? Okay, so we have some combinations that are a little tricky. So I have little helpers on them. Okay, so this is our combo, one of our main ones. It's T I O N, and it looks like it should be T on T on or something like that. But the T I is replaced with our sh sound, and it really says sh. On Sean, uh huh. There's a lot of these weird combinations today, but guess what? I have little helpers that we can look at. Okay, so in our story, we had the three chickens. Our first one made his house out of hay, and that wasn't very good because the wolf just blew it away. Our second chicken made his house out of Sticks and that wasn't very good either. It also blew away. 
Uh, so that's Lat, Matt, and then we come to Pat, who was the youngest chicken, and built his house out of bricks. Uh huh. And the little fox could not blow it down. Oh no. And he also married Violet. So they lived very well in that little house because it had a good foundation. Okay, so this is our word. And we're going to sound it out. No worries. Okay, here we go. Ow. Remember this? Ow combination. There's the band aid. Ow for ouch. Ow. Found. D. A for acorn. Found. Day. And then we go. Shun. Foundation. Oh, yes. Little Pat. Built his house on a good foundation. Uh huh. Voila. Hi guys, it's me, Jerome. Okay, as you can see, I am in front of a beautiful picture of creation. Uh huh. Our world was created by the divine artist. Uh huh. And there's a cool song, and it's like, I'm on the top of the world, looking down on creation. Oh, okay. You know, it's an old song. All right, but it's kind of cool. All right, so here I am. I'm going to help you sound it out. Here we go. Er, e for eagle. Remember the eagle wings. Cr e cree a for acorn. Cree a and there we go. Shun. Cree a shun. Yeah, beautiful creation. Uh huh. All right, bye guys. Oh, hello there. All righty, look behind me. Here's a wintry scene. Uh-huh, we have icebergs. Those are big chunks of ice that are on the water. Ooh, makes me cold. And on the mountains, we have what are called glaciers. Those are just big chunks of ice that are on the ground. And in this case, up in the mountains, usually up high, they just never melt. And they're are just big chunks of ice. And so, I have a word here that we are going to sound out together. But no worries. Here we go. G -l A for acorn. G -l -a. Okay, here's another combo that says sh. Glay. Sh. Er. Glacier. Glacier. And that is what we were looking at. Uh huh. Voila! Hi guys, it's time for letter art! Oh yeah! Okay, so I'm gonna show you our word first and then we'll draw it. Okay, so, oh, our, in our story, Pat the little chicken, he built a house out of bricks, right? And it was a smaller house, but it was cozy, but it wasn't real big. Well, we're gonna draw this. Uh huh, we're sounding it out. Mmm, A for apple. Mmm, an. Man, and here's another combo that just says sh on the end of a word. Sh on, Sean. We're going to draw a man, Sean, mansion. All right, so a mansion is a big house. Okay, so I'll put that there. Get out a dark marker, and here we go. Okay, well, this is going to be the roof. We're going to make it big. And I think that is it. Mansion. Mansion. Woo! And don't forget our list.